Diva of the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky worms with waves and perms. Just sending junky rhythms right down your block. We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but we beat to rap what key beat to lock. Hey guys, so I want to do a quick video on ways you can use this double end bag. I had a couple of requests on my routine I use on this. Uh, and the first thing I want to remind people is that this is a tool. It is not a, a heavy a heavy bag. It is, it's a great bag to use for um, hand and eye coordination as well as your reflexes and making sure that your fundamental, uh, your fundamentals stay true. So um, if you hit this bag at the wrong angle or, or if you're late with punching it, it won't rebound the proper way or it'll, it'll be off balance. So Make sure you use all your punches, your jabs, your straights, um, your hooks, your uppercuts, and you vary the speed of what you do. Throw in combination, throw single shots, and also use your, your footwork, um, lateral movement. Um, number one mistake I see a lot of guys do is they just stand right in front of the bag um, and they don't move. Um, and they also don't use their head movement as well. So uh, that's the point of this bag is that it rebounds so that you can use uh, that to simulate a punch is coming in and you, moving your head. So slipping to the inside, slipping to the outside. Um, going left and right, not crossing your feet when you step to the side, um, as well as pivoting um, as well. So uh, making sure you're using your entire arsenal at your disposal, and, and this is what makes this bag so special and why I enjoy using it. Um, staying relaxed, um, if you're a taller fighter or you like to fight tall, um, using that outside reach to kind of sharpshoot. So you can see here, I step back a little bit just to kind of give myself a little bit of distance. My fundamentals aren't the best, but whatever. I'm just kind of relaxed and having fun with it. So uh, make sure you stay relaxed, have fun. Um, and just kind of sharpshooting it, hitting it with the one, two, hitting it with my jab, one, two, one, two, um, and kind of going at it. Um, so make sure you're doing that. The other thing you want to do is uh, when it rebounds, uh, practice slipping and bobbing and weaving. Um, you can also use it kind of more as a cardio workout and incorporate some of that fast twitch muscle. So kind of doing machine guns on it uh, to kind of get more of a cardio workout from that and staying balanced. Um, another thing I like to do with this is um, switching to southpaw. I'm a conventional fighter, uh, but I like to kind of switch my lead foot just to kind of get comfortable if I'm ever in that position to where I might square up or if I'm against the ropes and I have to switch my lead foot to get into a more um, comfortable or advantageous position against my opponent. So um, again, I'm now I'm in southpaw. Um, you can see I feel a little bit more awkward. I don't feel as comfortable, but again, just something you can practice on. Um, hope you guys find this video uh, inform uh, informative and, and you can use use this uh, to kind of add elements to what you already do in your training. So I uh, appreciate you guys watching my video. If you guys have any input, please let me know.